Welcome to this video. We have finished our phase two in Arch Merged. We have now XFCE, we have now Openbox and i3 available for you guys. But you start with the latest Arch Merged with a D. And today in beginning December 2017, that's the 6.2.1. Each more month will release and improve our system, but that uh, doesn't mean you have to reinstall. We will be rolling. What do you know? Do you need to know as well? So we have two distros. Let's maximize this. Control F. There are two distros available, and in the meantime, let me just choose my language. So you change the language you want, and the time. Where are you situated in the world? And that Dutch is not a good one for me, Eric. Belgian. I must have my Azeti keys. This is an option that's very important to do. Please erase disk. Don't do install alongside and all that. Just give the complete hard disk the space it needs. Instead of dual booting, I recommend just switching SSDs. One in, one out. Keep the gaming from for, for the work related things on Windows and the fun all in Linux. So. Erase disk, no difficult manual partition. First try that, and if that's success, uh, success, then you can try out eventually different partitions, different um, formats, and, and so on. So erase disk is my option, my way to install, and without issues. So I'm gonna call mine Arch Merged, and I'm gonna put the reference behind it version and there you go everything is installed the way he wants it that's the decision of Arch Merch I leave it up to him to actually Calamares which is the installer and we can well here we have already a pitch a sales pitch Arch Merged is a base installation of Arch so we're very happy that we can build with the building blocks of Arch Linux and the community. And what we uh, want to do is to get you at phase four. And phase four is not working with Arch Merge at all, but working with Arch Linux ISO and then start from scratch. But it's um, for many of us, it's a, bit, a bridge too far and, and, and Arch Merge can be this bridge. So you learn how to use Arch Linux and then finally you say, okay, I can install Arch Linux without any help. What is Arch Merged? It's going to skip phase one of the Arch way and it can provide help here with scripts and learn how to install and use Arch. We can install any desktop. As you can see, lots have um, passed in the meantime, and Arch Merged is just one gigabyte. There is another one that's called Arch Merge without a D, and that's the one that has two gigabytes. So then we have um, the intention to just have fun and say, look, here you have XFCE, here you have Openbox, and here you have i3, and learn it first learn to use the desktop environment before you start learning how to install everything that's phase two and phase three okay this is open box the last one to do in phase two so how do we proceed we oh eric first i have to tell you that you should go and type mirror why this iso is built in belgium it's in europe and um, it has other Arch Linux servers nearby. So when you're in, in uh, Russland, uh, Russia, uh, or as in, in, in America, or in China, and so on, you need to get the Arch Linux servers that are close to you. So that's what I've done right now. First reflex probably will be a, sub, a sub, uh, pseudo pacman minus s u, something like that. And indeed, always, this is Arch, people. There will be updates in. Okay, that done. How do we proceed now? Well, Arch Merged, with a D, works with scripts. Scripts you can edit 
scripts you can copy paste you can delete um, there will be they, they should be they should become your scripts but first the first installation just install the scripts and follow along and then in in using Arch Merge, you will figure out, oh yeah, I don't like that browser, or I do like this and I don't like that. And then you start deleting lines. So you need to remember that you need to clone something from somewhere. It's git, git clone. It's already installed. It's an application called git. Where? HTTPS, double point, slash, slash. It's on github.com. So you need to know this thing by heart. Slash. Which distro is this? Arch Merge. Is this Linux, Mac, or Windows? It's Linux. Arch Merged, in short, is AMD. Arch Merged. What are we going to install? XFCE? No. i3? No. It's Openbox. So any of those lines work. And what you get? A folder. Let's do an LS. A folder. And in the folder, Let's go and change the directory to AMD. In the folder, you have uh, little scripts, and the script is nothing more than a text that we make executable. So these things inside there are just commands that are run that uh, you don't need to remember out of your head. But these things come from the Arch Wiki. We read it, we studied it, and we put it in an, a script. That's what we do, that's and what we can reuse and what you can reuse now. All right, let's get our display manager done. It's there. That was quick. LS, arrow up, arrow up. That was 100, so we go now to 110. And that's how we proceed now. Of course, you can make your decisions already now. If you say, hey, I don't have a Bluetooth, don't install Bluetooth. Hey, I don't have a printer. Don't install printer. So you can skip some of these, but not all of them, of course. Then you have a strange installation, probably. And you'll come to the forum and say, Eric, what's going on? Doesn't work. Um, did I install my 120? No. So I have to install my 120 later. I'm installing my printers now, but I have a Canon. And this Canon is not recognized in this Fumatic database thing of theirs. So I'll have to install another driver to get it to work. But it works, so I'm happy and um, that's okay. Installing a driver is no biggie. Printers we've done. Samba is going to take a bit longer. If you don't want to share your computer over the net then uh, don't do it I don't I mean don't install it here it's asking my login and password so what you have to do if you want to get on this computer I need to the Samba needs to know who can come on the computer I gave him the login and he asked me what's the password to come in to this computer so a login and a password is required otherwise you can't log in to this Samba it's not that uh, easy yet, so you still need to tell uh, the computer in the Samba configuration file that you need to share a folder or, or a set of folders, but that's already explained in other tutorials. So just go type for Samba or probably share. We're going to use um, our time well. We're going to pause here because this is a long one. Okay, we're back. So 140 less okay 150 is to see my computers nearby the network are there other computers in your network can i navigate to them okay 200 is going to be everything that's on arch repositories so the standard arch repositories they're called extra and, and core and community you see it in front of the names and um, not aor so that's the difference you have to make one is from the core system. Well, there, there is also core name, but I mean from people maintained by Arch. And the other AOR is maintained by people. Arch User Repository. That's what AOR stands for. I'm on there. Other people on there. I mean, 
is just not the core of Arch. Chromium, 170 megabytes. That's good. So I see files a lot passing by. If you say I never use FTP, well, delete the line, no better still, don't delete it. We can put a hashtag in front of it and it will never install. That's even better. And at some point in time you say, hmm, I need it now. Well, hashtag gone, rerun that number, and there you have it, you have it installed. Gonna pause a while as well here. Okay, script is done. So we've done 200. It's always interesting to tell you this. If you rerun 200, there's nothing, nothing happens. Everything is okay. If you're in, in doubt and say, oh, did I run 200? Well, let's try again. It just skips everything. So oh, it's installed. Don't do anything. Okay, well, let's have a look again. 200, 300. The AOR. So this, these things are coming from the Arch user repositories. The fun stuff, you know. Uh, Spotify is on there, cool retro term is on there, Dropbox, InSync stuff that you will miss on your system if you just go with the uh, Arch uh, repositories. The MinStick USB, how to um, make an ISO, or download an ISO and then put it on USB. I strongly suggest, I just wrote an article about it on the forum archmerchforum.com telling okay guys if you have the avail availability somewhere of minstick on arch merch or linux mint actually there that's where it comes from do it use it i have written over 80 iso with minstick minstick uh to check on uh, the sardi and the surfing icons on, on 80 plus distros so yeah they, it never failed me that this program so hey um, never change a winning team, you know, so um, I can advise you use a minstick and it's all of you to choose on archmerge.info there is also a download page and down there is also how to install how to run no, sorry how to burn an ISO to USB on Windows Linux and Mac so it's uh, Covered there you can check there and let's now pause here and wait till everything installs Okay, that's one of the last, uh, the longest ones, S300. Uh, a lot of fun stuff in there that you want to skip or even add more fun stuff. So the AOR is a great um, website to visit. Uh, maybe a good tip, what I did years ago. Let's uh, show you guys on my other screen. I'll just Google it first. Okay, it's already done. So. 400 is done, 500 is underway. It's an, also an AOR, but it's a repo um, dependent. So this is Arch Linux user repository. I've clicked on here. So the AOR Arch Linux.org. Uh, what I did years ago is go check what is fun, what is, what is interesting. So what are the packages in here? And you can sort by votes or you can sort by popularity. And you can see what's on top. And here you have my number one provider in music spotify and there are other things like visual studio code you would say uh, it's a microsoft product but here it's 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 there and on the top skype for linux to call each other and so on and so on so go check it out sort it on uh, this uh, maybe and um, see if you like it you can filter here as well up here to check out what you want to do all right that was the tip let's see if it's finished already no let's pause the video down there and we're off again so this was number 500 ls so let's have a look again 600 this is coming from our own personal arch merch repo in 6.2.1 we made i actually a giant leap forward and we made um arch merch even more rolling there are only two things i think we should consider of making rolling and um, so we now 
get everything from those packages and install it to your folder. So it's going to be on etc scale and then it's going to copy it into your personal folder. So all the settings are there. Here the settings you used in Arch Merge, shortcuts, keyboards, shortcuts I mean, settings and all that, they are there. So that's great. What else? Fonts. Let's quickly get those fonts we need to have uh, a nice look on our system for, for instance, the contents, but not all of the fonts. I'm afraid you know the problems with um, copyright and all that. So that's that. I do like to auto log in if you don't like that. I do not want to see this live DM. Welcome. Who are you? What's your password? Just log me in. And my login is Eric, so change it in the file already and forget about it. So now I'm going to log in automatically. You can run the 900 uh, fix microcode error. In this case, it will not work since I'm in v um, virtual box. So we don't see the microcode, but it doesn't hurt either, I think. I've never done it because it's not necessary, but here you go. I have now tried it out, so I will know if it boots or not. So then we need to have the cursor everywhere. There is the Breeze cursor, which is the Breeze No one, but if you want to have another cursor, you have to change that as well. You have to follow that script and, of course, change the name. But it is what it is. It's OpenBox XFC together, so we need this little patch so that when you right mouse click, you don't have the Advaita cursor, but you have the cursor from the breeze now. That's why we do it. And then the 920 fix is for your OB logout icons. If you install OB logout, you'll get the standard icons and not the Sardi OB logout icon. So that's fixed now. If you install the lock, that's uh, the slim lock, that's normal, then it's um, Adrian or, or something, uh, the standard icons, uh, standard um, lock screen, not icons, the standard red screen. So here it is, we have now the standard Arch Merge theme. And now it's time to reboot, so we're at 930. Generally, I reboot here and I do the personal stuff when I reboot it. So there we go, sudo reboot. Remember, we are on Arch Merged, but in Virtual Box. So if I press Enter now, we're going back in the live DVD, and that's not what we want. We boot existing OS. So let's see what all these scripts have done for us. What have they created out of the box? Just running some numbers and waiting for everything to install. This is what we get. I tend to click this away. Don't want to know this. Don't show this message again. If you don't have internet, this is red, all red. So you'll know you don't have internet. I don't want to see this. So right mouse click, this is what we get out of the box. Everything works. You can set straight away your copy if you want to, if not that one, another one. But it looks a bit strange. And what's still strange about it? Well, because we don't have uh, the right colors. So in Arch Merch, we have these nice, beautiful colors and it's now uh, not available. Let's put another conkey in there because I feel a little bit um, a little bit now empty up there. Let's take that one. So let's make it beautiful on the next tutorial, uh, but this is already looking quite, quite good. Um, you see here that we have variety available. The only thing we should do is say give me another one or with alt arrow to the right and to the right and to the right this super shift d thing does exist as well screen key i've installed it to make my tutorials for you guys so it's in here and we can show and the settings are all set so that's why we got everything from the arch merch repo so everything is as it should be no loss in time 
no, this does not work, that no, does not work. It's the same experience you have on Arch Merge that you will have on Arch Merged, except you don't have X, um, XFC, correct? And you don't have i3. So if you go out and, oh yeah, that's because we need to reboot again. So right mouse click, exit open box, restart. If you go out and you log out again, so let's me let's do that together and then end the tutorial there. So oh yeah, by the way, we're out to log in. You know, we set it to to do so. So it's it's out to log in straight away. And if we exit again and you do log out, that's what I wanted to show you. There's just open box. There is no i3. There is no XFCE. And that's it for this tutorial. Cheers.